a magnetic field of 5i plus 3j plus 1k tesla passes through a six turn current carrying wire coil that has an area vector of seven meters squared pointing in the negative y-axis a current of 3a flows through the wire what is the vector torque experienced by the coil okay so Whenever you're given a problem that asks for vector torque, you want to remember that the formula for vector torque is vector torque is equal to N, that stands for number of turns, times I for current, multiplied by the cross product of the area vector and the magnetic field vector. So I'm going to write it over here. T is for torque, vector torque. N is for the number of turns. A is for, oh, I is for current. A is for area vector. And B is for magnetic field. Magnetic field vector. Okay. So now, looking at the problem, we want to see what it gives us. It says here that it passes through a six turn current carrying wire coil. So the six is going to be the number of turns. And it says a current of three amps flows through the wire. So our current is going to be three. And we don't know what this is yet. So we're going to leave that blank because we need to find that out. But we do know that the area vector and magnetic field vectors are given so let's see the magnetic field of 5i plus 3j plus 1k so this will be 5i plus 3j plus 1k tesla passes through six turn current carrying wire that has an area vector area vector of seven meters squared pointing in the negative y-axis meaning that the j component is going to be a negative seven because it's pointing in the negative y-axis everything else is zero so zero i negative seven j because it's pointing in the negative y-axis plus zero k so this is our area vector next up with this information we can find the cross product of the two so we can set up our ijk a will be in the first level so our a i component for a is going to be zero j component for a is going to be negative seven and k component for a is zero for b our i component is five j component is three and k component is one now we have to find the cross product of the two which to find the i component of the cross product we need to cover the i multiply negative seven by one you get negative seven minus three times zero is zero this is our i always put a negative over here before you start your j now to find the j component of the cross product, you cover the j, 0 times 1 is 0. This is an ugly parenthesis. Okay, let me rewrite that. Okay, 0. Uh, 5 times 0 is 0. So this will be your j. Once you're done with the j, always add a plus before you start your k component. So cover your k component. 0 times 3 is 0 minus... 5 times negative 7 is negative 35, okay? Okay, so once you have that, you want to simplify or clean it up a little. So negative 7 minus 0 is negative 7i. 0 minus 0 is 0, so same thing as adding a 0j. Plus... 0 minus negative 35, a negative and a negative makes a positive, so it's going to be same thing as 0 plus 35, which give us 35, okay? So this is going to be our cross product. So we could write it here that we have a negative 7i plus 0j plus 35k, okay? So... Once you have that, you can start solving up for our torque, vector torque, but I'm going to erase this to create more space for us. Okay. Now, we 
know that our torque is going to be equal 6 times 3 multiplied by 7i plus 0j plus 35k. 6 times 3 is 18, so 18 times 7, negative 7i plus 0j plus 35k. So once you have that, you can plug it into your calculator. 18 times negative 7 is going to be equal to negative 126. This will be your i component. 18 times 0 is 0, so our j is 0. Plus 18 times 35. Oops. 18 times 35 is 630, so 630k. And this is going to be your vector torque. Units will be in newtons. And here you have your answer. Just kidding. N is not going to be your units. It's going to be newtons meter, okay? Remember, for vector torque, your unit is newtons meter.